Hello everyone. In one of my previous video, I have mentioned about binding file versus a bounded file. And many of my subscribers have asked what is actually a binding file and what's a bounded file. In this short video, I am going to explain about what's a binding file and what's a bounded file. We have to understand that whenever we are using a hand file, almost all the hand files will have a tip which is active. Active tip means it is sharp and if you are rotating a file inside the root canal, it will get binded. That's how we enlarge, negotiate and do cleaning and shaping. Whenever this active tip file, for example, a stainless steel K hand file is threaded inside the root canal by doing a rotation, the file will get bounded. Why? Because the tip is active and it is sharp. So whenever you are rotating a hand file inside the root canal, it goes deeper and deeper inside the canal and it gets bounded. So what's a bounded file now is whenever you are rotating the handle of the file and no more the tip rotates. So it's like a disconnection between the handle and the tip. Why? Because the throughout the part of the canal, the file is getting bounded. So there is no more rotation of the tip happening while you are rotating the handle. So what's the consequence or what's the what's going to happen because of this? So whenever you are rotating the uh, handle of the file, the tip is not rotating. So what happens is somewhere in between this file will undergo twisting and it will break. So how to avoid it is we should always use a sequential canal preparation while doing canal negotiation or cleaning and shaping with a hand file and hand files are never ever meant to be rotated inside the root canal and rotating a hand file is one of the beginners mistake in fracturing endorandic files and that should be avoided at any cost. Does this apply only to a hand file? No, this applies to a rotary file also. How come in case of a rotary file? You may ask now. So all the rotary files will be rotating inside the canal. Doesn't it get bounded? In order to avoid this bounding, all the ro rotary files will have a tip which is safe tip. Means it is a non-cutting tip. Hand files cutting tip and rotary files non-cutting tip so that it will follow a pathway created by hand file and it will not get binded at the tip. So what other problem can happen is the part of the file that is beyond the 16 millimeters of the cutting portion of the file after that it is a smooth part it is a non-cutting part. So this part of the file may get enter inside the root canal and it may get bounded one or if you are using a file for example a 26 percentage file for preparing the entire canal what happens is the file will get bounded why because from the tip to the remaining the entire 16 millimeters of the working length or working or the cutting portion of the file is attempting to cut the root canal wall so in order to avoid that what we can do is we have to do a sequential canal preparation for example in case of a constant taper files we can use a eight percentage file followed by a six percentage followed by a four percentage so similar way that a sequential canal preparation will prevent this file getting bounded and at the same time the progressive taper files like a pro taper files the files itself are designed in a way that it won't get bounded inside the root canal so i hope that it has given little idea about what's a binding file and what's a bounded file so a binded file if it is pushed continuously it will go deep inside the canal and almost the entire length of the canal gets entrapped or uh, or, or the entire length of the file gets bounded inside the root canal and the file may fracture. So that should have to be avoided. And so keep this in your practice while you are doing cleaning and shaping or canal negotiation or doing any steps with a hand file or a rotary file. So 
I will come up with another video next week. And until then, stay focused, stay happy and do more root canal treatments. Thanks for watching.